Hello! Welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're learning vocabulary about animals, and we're at the SPCA for Monterey County. What does SPCA stand for? SPCA stands for the Society for the Protection of Cruelty to Animals. That's a long name. Yeah, that's a long name. That's why we say the SPCA. It's another name for animal shelter. What is an animal shelter? An animal shelter is a place where they bring animals that don't have a home. Homeless animals. And what do you call them? That's right. We don't call them homeless animals. We call them stray dogs or stray cats. Stray. We see the TR making the ch, -ch sound like chicken. Plus the R together. Sch, er, sch, -er. stray. Stray dogs and stray cats. Or you might hear the word feral. Feral, for example, a feral cat. is a cat with no home. Are there a lot of stray cats and dogs in Monterey? No, there are not a lot of stray cats and dogs in Monterey because they bring them here to the animal shelter. Another name for animal shelter is pound. You might see in a movie someone saying, we're going to take the dog to the pound or take the dog to the dog pound. The pound is another name for the animal shelter. Hey, Kevin, what kind of cats are they? These cats? These cats are called tabby cats. It's not a breed. You have different breeds of animals and you have different breeds of cats, but these cats are called tabby cats. It's a kind of cat. It's the pattern they have on their fur. See, they have a little M on their forehead. That's a tabby cat. And I think these are brothers or maybe sisters. Do you think they came from the same litter? Yeah, when animals come from the same litter, that means they're brothers or sisters. They came from the same mother at the same time. That's called a litter. When you have more than one animal from a mother, that's a litter of kittens or a litter of puppies. So I think they came from the same litter. And what do you call a little kitten that is the smallest one in the litter? The smallest animal in a litter is called the runt. The runt of the litter is the smallest animal in the litter. And what are the cats doing? They're licking their paws. And they're licking each other. The action is lick. How do you pronounce this action? We use the short sound I like this is lick, lick. They're licking each other and they're, yeah, they're licking each other. And before she was licking her paw. This is a paw. Hey. Hey. And when you look at the paws, they have claws. The sharp things that come out, I don't want to make the claws come out. Oh, sorry. The claws come out, but the claws are the sharp things that come out. And with their claws, they scratch. And that's why we have this. This is a scratching post. It's for the cats to scratch with their claws. It's a scratching post. Kevin, what is that box in the corner? Oh, that box. That's where their restroom. That's where they use the restroom, but we have a name for it. It's called a litter box. And the stuff inside it, that's called kitty litter. You have to buy kitty litter to put in your litter box. And that's where the cats go to the bathroom. Now, what does kitty litter do? Uh, it absorbs the waste. It absorbs the pee and the poop. And then you have to clean it out. So what's the phrasal verb we have to use? We use the phrasal verb clean out. You have to clean out the litter box every day. Do you want to play with a toy? Oh, yes, you do. The kitty wants to play with the cat toy. You can call these cats cats or you can call them kitties. Kitty is just a fun word for cat. And what do you call people who like cats? People who like cats are called cat people. For example, you, you're a cat person. That's right, I'm a cat person. What about you? I'm not really a cat person. Cats are all right, but they're not my favorite. I'm not a cat person, but you are. You're a cat person. Are you a dog person? I guess I'm more of a dog person. I like dogs more than cats. This is a playful kitty. Mm -hmm. The other one's annoyed by the toy. The other one thinks the toy is annoying.
These are good kitties. Maybe someone will adopt them today. I hope so. Yeah, they're up for adoption. Maybe someone will come and adopt them. That's what they do here at the SPCA. People come and they adopt pets. Because the pets are up for adoption. That means they're available so you can adopt them. They're up for adoption. You got it, you got it. What was that wire in the way? It's got a bell on it. Kevin, I think you are a cat person. <laughs> Look at these cats. These cats aren't as lucky as the other cats. These cats are kept in kennels. They're like cages for animals. They're called kennels. Use the short S sound like pen and ten. Ke, ke, kennels. These cats are kept in kennels. Do you want to open the door and see the cat? Sure. Hello, kitty. How are you doing today? She's cute. Yeah, it's a girl. So when you have a pet, you call it he or she. You don't call it it. Because if it's your pet, you know if it's a boy or a girl. Can you talk, cat? Can you say meow? Meow? Oh, she's That's meowing. how cats talk. They say meow. Meow is a verb. I can say the cat is meowing. Cats like to meow. It's how they talk to people. They meow. And if they're really happy, and if they're really happy, they purr. That's purr. That's the verb. Is the cat purring, Lisa? I think so. She wants to get out. If the cat's purring, that means the cat is happy. She's very cute. Oh no, she's meowing. I don't think she's happy. She wants to get out. What is this action called? Oh yeah, the verb is pet. You're petting the cat. Just like the name, the cat is a pet, a dog is a pet, and the verb is pet. And the past is petted. I petted my cat today, but I'm not gonna pet that cat, because I don't know that cat. She's very sweet. I guess she likes you. I hope someone adopts her today.